Hello everyone, this is the Peg Leg. How you all doing? Hope you're all well. Just wanted to say something really quickly. Recently I've been watching a few hangouts and a few videos where people seem to just carry on using the one eye symbolism. There was one guy I was watching on a hangout and on his t-shirt was just a one eye and uh, it really if you like, gets to me, you know. You're supposedly awake, you know, you can see things. Because obviously you, you come to the flat earth and conspiracies and stuff like that. But yet, when it's all said and done, you're still using symbolisms. You know, like, what's the point of that? I don't get it. Which leads me to think, are these people really who they say they are? You know. One eye symbolism, that's 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 a Luciferian thing, you know. A Illuminati thing. That's a devil thing. Because when I see it, the way I see it, is that we have two eyes. We was created with two eyes. You know, everything the devil does tries to represent what God does. You know, copy what God does. And everyone, even in their speech, when they say, use your eye, do you know what I mean? Your third eye and all that kind of stuff. You know, to me, it doesn't even make sense. It's a dangerous thing. You know, and some of the people that talk to these people, oh, well, that's a good person, you know, this, that, the other. You don't really know someone. Because if you did, you would say to that person, look, why the one eye, you know, you're supposed to be a truther. You're supposed to be looking for the truth. And stuff like that. Me personally, I don't want to or feel the need to use a one eye symbolism. You know, the third eye thing, that's just the devil thing. Do you know what I mean? And sorcery and all that kind of stuff. That's that's not of God. You know, people shouldn't be opening their minds to all these new fangled new age movement things at all. You know? Yeah, look, see what's going on. But look with your eyes, not your eye. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people probably think, Craig, shut up. And peg leg, shut up. You're talking rubbish here. But I'm not. <laughs> I wish I was. You know, I see a lot of people walking around and doing their everyday stuff. Wearing stuff, you know, with the devil's symbolism all over the place. You know, you're like... The devil hand sign, you know, and all that kind of stuff. The eye, as I said, the triangle, the pyramid, so forth. But they can't see what they're doing. Even like flat earthers and even some Christians I've seen do it. Or suppose Christians and flat earthers. A lot of these people are psyops to put in the place to, to confuse you. To make you think it's alright to be in their group or part of their, their life in a sense where... You know, you're doing your flat earth chats and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's crazy. And now I've had one guy so far come to my channels a few times and said, you know, it's concave, not flat. Well, if you're all looking for the truth, and most of the truth you find it, you find it is flat, not concave. There is less proof on the concave and the globe in fact than there is an actual flat disc there's more on the flat disc with four corners than there is on the concave earth <laughs> doesn't make sense to me now all the research I've been doing and others have done they all come to more or less the same conclusion there's a nice wall it's flat but anyway that's enough of my rant you're probably wondering why I've got a picture of the, the horn. <laughs> well, I'm sounding the alarm <laughs> on those who uh, try to confuse you or get you to believe that they're a good person, this, that, the other, but behind closed doors, they're probably a troll or something along them lines. <laughs> and they're just using you. Anyway, this has been the Peg Leg. God bless. Keep it real. Keep it flat. Take care. Bye.